the most common reason why people don't do what I call a gentle launch or announce their service on a regular basis to their social media audience, the most common block is, well, I'm not posting on social media consistently or the same thing with email newsletter. Like, oh, I'm not, I haven't been sending an email to my list. So I don't, I, I can't just sell to them. Really? Who told you that? Because I have had, I have hired so many service providers over the years, acupuncturists, massage therapists, coaches, counselors, healers, mentors. I've hired so many over the years and almost none of them keep in touch with me. I would be fine. I would be happy if they simply sent me an email twice a year, three times a year to sell me on something. I mean, think, think about the service provider. Think about your, your acupuncturist or your coach or your healer or, or whatever service provider you, 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 you've, you've hired, your tutor, your mentor, whatever. Would you really mind if they sent you two or three emails a year saying, hey, I just want to let you know I've got this new offer. I've got this new package. I've got this new type of service. I've got this new webinar. I've got this new course. I've got a spring deal, a fall deal, a winter deal going on right now that I thought you should know about. I, I would be happy to see that. Like, oh, oh my gosh, I forgot I have an acupuncturist. Oh, I forgot I have a nutritionist. Oh, I forgot I, I hired this coach for a while and I was you know, grateful for that service. And oh, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm grateful to know that they have a new service, right? So same thing on social media. Do you mind if you occasionally see someone pop up and go, oh, they have a new package or offer? Of course you don't mind. Because if, you, if it's not right for you, what you do, you simply keep scrolling. And same thing with the email. If, it, if you didn't, you know, that package isn't right for you, and just archive the, or delete the email. That's it. You move on. Everyone just moves on. The, um, we have to remember that when, like, it's like when we send a message, it's such a big deal in our minds. Like, oh, I'm sending a message to, you know, whether it's 5,000 people or five people, <laughs> I'm sending a message. But to them... It's just one of 50 messages they just got that day. And they just keep scrolling. And <laughs> so it's really not a big deal. So I'm going to say, of course, you know, what I always say is please be consistent in posting content. But even if you aren't, please show up to us. We want to know, not, not just your clients, not just your past patients or clients or mentees, your friends, your colleagues, your family members even. We are happy to see you every once in a while talk about your service. You don't have to couch it in a beautiful story about your life. And then suddenly at the end, this is why you should hire me. You know, I really dislike those messages when I see. I'm like, please don't do that. Just tell us a story. And that's it. Don't sell it. If you're going to tell us a story, just tell us a story. Don't sell us on anything. And if you're going to sell us on something, please just be upfront and say, I'm so grateful to have worked with certain clients on these areas. And now I'm open to receiving more of them or, hey, I've got a spring package for this and that, you know, in case you know anyone who's struggling with this or who want to reach that experience, you know, this is, yeah. So I hope this helps. Don't let the fact that you've been absent on your newsletter or your social media stop you from occasionally just letting them know about your service because they would preach, chances are very good that they would appreciate knowing about it. And I also want to say one thing, if you have taken some of my courses or heard me talk about this, I, I often say, if possible, um, and sometimes I forget to say if possible. Uh, so I'm saying that now, but 80-20 rule or 90-10 rule is a very nice ratio for how much content versus how much offers or selling or launching. You know, it's like, it's like if you made, uh, let's say that the, someone who is very, active on social media and they made five posts every week on social media, right? 80-20 rule would mean that they get to make an offer, make a pitch, sales pitch. I say pitch, I don't really mean it has to be aggressive or inauthentic. It just means, hey, everyone, here's what I offer. Because remember, well, I didn't, don't think I said this in the recording, your audience has no idea or it forgets constantly what you do for a living. They just think you blog for fun. They think you're already retired and you just like to post on Instagram some tips, some stories about this field. They really, they, they don't, even your friends, even if I'm your friend, I, I forget what it is you offer until I see it in front of me. And then I remember for like three days, if you're lucky. If not, I remember for three minutes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's what, that's what, that's what Joe does. Oh yeah, that's what Tia does. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah. Next time I, I hear someone who needs your service, I might, oh yeah, that's right. Please hire, hire Moitza because 
why? Because I just saw her post like yesterday that she offers this kind of thing. Otherwise, I don't remember. Yeah, it's just because everyone has so much going going on all the time. That's why, let's say, it's the person who's acting on social media, five posts. One of those posts can be an offer and, and a reminder of this is the service I provide, or this is my upcoming program, or this is uh, the thing I love doing with clients, or whatever it is. So ideally, you would have a 80-20 rule or a 90-10 rule um, ratio. But like I said, I'm gonna. This is the point of this video. Even if you haven't posted for three months or sent a newsletter for for a year, your audience still, uh, your ideal audience, particularly your ideal clients, still would be grateful to hear about your your new program, your new offering, your current offering. I don't care if a few people unsubscribe. That is normal. And people always go, George, but I did that. I. I haven't sent my email newsletter in a year and I sent an offer. Hopefully you sent it in a very authentic way, very gentle, kind way, rather than a sales pitch, like aggressive thing. But, but I sent it and then I got 1% of those people unsubscribed. Are you, of course, that's normal. I, I, I send newsletters all the time, I send a weekly newsletter. And you know, usually about a third of a percent to half a percent unsubscribe. Sometimes it's 0.1%. A 1% unsubscribe rate on the newsletter is high if it's a regular newsletter, but if it's an occasional once a year newsletter, once every six month newsletter, 1% unsubscribe is not unusual. And you should accept that and go, yeah, that's natural. Those are not my ideal audience anyway, or not at this time. They might come back to me a couple of years later, right now. So just don't, oh, a few people unfollowed me. That, well, that's fine because they haven't seen you in six months. They forgot who you are. So, the unfollowing, unsubscribing is not evidence of the fact that this is a bad strategy. No, it's just evidence that people, that's normal. That's how it usually works. Even if you sent the most beautiful letter a year later, you'll still get a lot of unsubscribes. You will. That's just normal. So please reach out. No matter how inconsistent you've been with content, let your people know what your current offer is.